Hi everybody, this is Ariane from La Fille de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. And let me show you what, I, what I'm getting ready to make. The cupcake I'm going to be making is my Loving Spell Type uh, Soapy Cupcake. It's made with Love Spell Type Fragrance Oil, Lemon Essential Oil, there's poppy seeds in there, and I also add on top um, some little rosebuds that I pick from my backyard in the summer. Many people ask me for tips when it comes to making uh, soapy cupcakes. I can tell you that uh, one of the key is to practice, okay? I did not perform as well as today when I started. Actually, my first soapy cupcake kind of looked like that. Not perfect. And then they got a little better but still looked like that. <laughs> So, as you can see, I wasn't a pro at first, but I continued to make them and tweak my recipes and it worked really hard until I got what I wanted. Let's get soaping. The first part of the prep work for making cupcakes is to uh, prep my lye water. I have the base that I've identified with a permanent marker and tape over it, and I have the frosting. It's not the same amount that I'm using for the base uh, and for the frosting. So these need to be clearly um, identified. I'm going to be making 48 cupcakes today, so everything needs to be ready in advance. In these uh, stock pots, I have the base for my cupcakes that is uh, melting down over low heat. And then on my counter, I have my fragrance and essential oil pre-measured. I have the colorant for the base of my cupcakes ready. Um, and then I have the sodium lactate right here, my colorants, my thermometer, my little stick blender, and a couple utensils sitting in a clean measuring cup. All of my cupcake liners are ready, as well as my piping bags, my piping tips, and my ornaments. Let's go pour these puppies. Once I poured the 24 first cupcakes, I'm going for round two. Okay, let's make some frosting. Now is the thrilling part of making cupcakes, the frosting. Um, I'm always unsure when I make the frosting. It can speed up on me and then I can't pipe it out. And sometimes, well most of the time, everything goes well and it ends up as a happy ending. <laughs> So um, let's go ahead and put the lye water in the oils. Um, I always make my cupcakes uh, in small batches of 24. 24 is perfect for me to work with. Going above that, if I would make 48 cupcakes in one single batch, I could never handle the piping bag. It's very heavy. Soap is heavy. It's not like real cake icing. 
which you can pipe in bigger amounts because it's fluffy and light. This is thick and very dense. First thing I do is I'm going to add my fragrance oil in this batch. The Love Spell type fragrance oil is a very well behaving oil in soap. So usually that won't be a problem for the, the trace. It won't speed up trace. Okay, so I have split my, um, my batter in two equal parts, plus a little extra for my top. Um, I added some poppy seeds to one side, and then I'm adding some colorant to the other. The white batter is the perfect piping consistency while the purple is a bit more liquidy um, but the white is stiff enough to start building this double twist into my biggest ever piping bag. It's an Atpico and I think it's a 24 inch. Okay, so here's my piping bag. It took me about three and a half minutes to fill it up while having you on camera because, um, yeah, it's kind of tricky to, to show you these kind of things. So I'm going to flip the sides up. I'm going to tap for air bubbles. And very slowly, I'm going to pull it out. And I'm going to start piping dollops on the top of my cupcakes.
My Loving Spell type soapy cupcakes have been in the oven overnight and are now ready to be unmolded. I leave the light on just to keep them warm, but no other heat was applied. I will now unmold them, remove the cupcake wrapper, and place them in the drying trays for the next four weeks. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed the content, uh, you can follow this link. It's a link to my Patreon channel, uh, my Patreon campaign, and you can support me by donating or pledging a dollar or more a month. Um, if you would like to see where the rosebuds were harvested, you can check the video right there. Um, it'll show you how I harvest these from my backyard. And if you would like to purchase one of these lovely cupcakes, well, you can do so on my web store. They will be available for sale in about a month. So thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Thank you.